All right, let's make one more stem and leaf plot. So stem and leaf plot. Sometimes for short, it's called just a stem plot. It's a little long name. Um, so let's look at some real data. Um, we're looking at people with diabetes uh, monitor and control their blood glucose level. Um, and so they maintain their fasting plasma glucose. Um, this is just something they measure when they measure their um, blood sugar. And so they want it to be between 90 and 130 milligrams per deciliter. Right, so we're gonna, that'll probably be important to us. We, ideally it's between 90 and 130. So we had 18 diabetics enroll in a control class for five months. Um, after the end of the class, we recorded their data. So these are their fasting plasma glucose levels, essentially kind of like their blood sugar. Um, so these are our, this is our data, our raw data. So we're gonna go ahead and make a stem plot and then maybe try to describe it a little. Um, so rather than just making graphs, maybe we wanna try to make some conclusions from it. Um, so you're gonna see that we need to round and let me show you why first. So, right, normally the leaf is the right digit. Um, so don't start making this, just maybe look at why we shouldn't do this. So if we wanna make it the right digit, that means we need to go as low as the 70s and we need to make it up to like 300. So that would be like 70s, 80s, 90s, 100s we would write as 10 and then like 101 would be 101. Right, and then we get 11, 12. I mean, how long is this graph gonna get by the time we get to 350, right? That's gonna take way too long. So the trick in this one is to actually round the data first. Um, so 140, let's round the data, would round to, 141 would round to 140. Um, we're gonna round to the tens place. 158 would round to 160, traditional rounding rules. 112 would be 110. 153 would be 150. So anytime our stem plot is maybe too long, we're gonna go ahead and round the data to the next digit. 134 would be 130. 95 would be 100, because it rounds up. 96 would round up to 100. 78 goes up to 80, and 148 goes up to 150. So I'm following the traditional rounding rules. Zero through four stay the same, five through nine go up. 172 stays 170, 200 is rounded, 271 would go down to 270, 103, 100, 170, 359 goes up to 360, 145 goes up to 150, 147 is 150, and then 255 is 260. So if you don't remember rounding rules, let me know. And I can go in that more detail. And so our leaf instead will be our tens place. Since they all end in zeros, the ones place is insignificant. So those will be our leaves. So we're gonna say leaf equals tens. So then our first row would be zero, which would be basically zero through 99. And our second row would be 1, which is representing 100 through 199. So if, let's see. In the 0 row, I have 80, and that's the only one. So we put 8. So we read that as 80 because this is the tens place. In the hundreds row, we have 100 and 100. So I know it looks like 10, but because it says tens place, it's 10 tens, which is 100. And then we have 130, so, or let's do 110 first, right? And then 130. So it's saying we have 11 tens or 13 tens, which means in a weird way, 110. So that's how I would read this. Um, I missed one of the hundreds, so I'm gonna go back and squeeze that in. It's just nicer to have the numbers in order. And then we have 140, 160, 150. So four, five, six. Oops, we have more 50s. 
So 50 shows up four times, and then we had 160. We had 170 twice. And that's it. And then we get the twos and the threes. So the 200s and the 300s. So we get 200, 260, 270. And then we get 360. So again, 36 here is 36 tens, which is really 360. So this is an important thing to write down. So this graph works. The hundreds row um, is really long. And so that's why we're probably going to split it instead like the previous examples. It's always into tw two. So basically it's like zero through 49, right? 50 through 99. And so on. So we don't have any zero through fours for the zeros, so we'll jump to eight, and that means we can skip the first row. So for the ones, one through four, zero through four, five through nine, so we're just splitting that up, so we have zero, 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 one, three, four, five, 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 six, seven, seven. So again, right, this isn't 15, this is 15 tens, which is 150. It's kind of weird, I know. But again, make sure you pay attention to this. So for the twos, these are the 200s. So we have 200, 260, 270. And then the 300s, we have none in the zero through um, five, four, but we do have 360. And that's our stem plot or our stem leaf plot. Um, and so let's see, what are outliers? So outliers are things that stand out as far away. Um, I don't really see outliers in the first graph, which is why I redrew it. But now the 36 tens or 360 looks like an outlier. Notice it's kind of away from the rest. We're going to de formally define outlier like later in the semester, but we're going to use that word a lot. It just kind of stands out from the rest of the data. And I don't think I was able to see it in this version of the graph. And then I was just curious, how well is this group um, at achieving their goal? So this is really the point of statistics. Can we look at this graph and make meaningful conclusions? So let's go back up. What was that goal? The goal was 90 to 130. So 90, it looks like we don't have any 90s, but hundreds would be in that goal, right? To 130. So those are the only people reaching the goal. Right? This is 140, 150, so they're above the goal. So it looks like they're, this group actually isn't doing that good at achieving the goal. So I would say no. Or actually, it wasn't yes or no question. The group is not doing well at achieving the goal. There's only one, two, three, four, five people out of, I think there was, what, 18 total? Only five out of 18 are achieving the goal. So this is what we really want to leave this class being able to do. Um, if we can create a graph, great, right? But can we actually make meaningful conclusions from these graphs? Can we see graphs in the real world and make conclusions? Um, so I would say they're not doing well because it's only five out of 18. Um, I think this was the trickiest stem leaf since we did the rounding. So it might take some time to process. There's more of these in the book where you have to round. Um, but you have to round if your stem leaf is going to be way too long. We don't want 20, 30, 40 rows because no one wants to look at that. The point is to make it easier to look at, not harder. So if your graph is getting too long, then that means you need to round.